Hey homeless, what's up? It's the Culture Detective here investigating your favorite memes and today I'm going to be talking about memes. Now, um, yeah, as per tradition, in the beginning of every single month, I will do a meme video where I talk about memes. However, I originally didn't even plan to do one today because I'm just not in the mood to at all. I'm feeling kind of anxious right now because I will be homeless by March 6th and being homeless is not a good thing. I don't think it is. But anyways, let's quickly just go over memes. Also, I may have to go to the supermarket later to buy food because aside from trying my best to not be homeless, I also need to try my best to maybe not starve to death. All right, let's talk about memes of February 2022. Let's start off with a couple memes that are actually from January, but I forgot about it because I have an amnesia. So um, starting off, we have empaths, empathy, um, yeah. <laughs> where people are like me an empath sensing that you feel sad because you're crying uh you know just people on the internet discovering that empathy exists oh my god what is this feeling that i'm having like when you're happy but i'm happy for you like 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 what is this feeling am i reading your mind like like that's weird that's weird and then afterwards we have the skeleton appears where out of nowhere the skeleton appears menacingly in fire on flames the skeleton appears um all right and then we have february memes uh february actually has quite a few damn good memes first of all we have venom memes <laughs> like out of like i know that there are a lot of marvel memes you know a lot of iron man and captain america and spider-man memes but but there's something about Venom memes that are just so much more tainted and stupid and dirty than like regular Marvel memes. Where for some reason, even though it's been a few months since the last Venom movie came out, which I dislike by the way, uh, people lately began to like really meme about Venom. You know, Venom, gotta go get him, Venom. And we have like a carnage like screaming, like, lean, I love lean. <laughs> and then we have this like top five Venom transformation video, which is one of the funniest videos I've seen in the in like the last six months. It's absolute hysterical. And um, I just don't know where did all these Venom memes come from, but uh, they are funny. Next meme would be the Kanye West beef meme. I mean, we all know what happened. Kanye West divorced Kim Kardashian last year and then Pete Davidson the woman snatcher had snatched Kim Kardashian I mean he had literally snatched every single female in existence in in the USA and that is really scary because if you live in the USA you gotta watch out man Pete Davidson coming after every single female around you or if you're a female yourself run okay just run but um, anyways, we have this beef between Kanye West and Pete Davidson. Now, Pete Davidson's more passive, but Kanye's going crazy as per usual. And then Kanye cut ties with Kit Cudi because Kit Cudi's friends with Pete Davidson. And this whole beef like got more and more dramatic and got more and more stupid as Pete Davidson's just a comedian. And Kanye West, like you can't even take him seriously half the time. So it's just this ridiculous beef thing that just happened and i don't even know what's going on at this point i'm not that caught up with this celebrity shit all right next up we have pinocchio voice acting so um there are a couple pinocchio movies that's coming out one is uh, by guillermo del toro but this one is actually the other one that is directed by someone uh, more obscure and uh oh my god Oh my god, the voice acting for Pinocchio is um, is interesting. It is very interesting. The voice of Pinocchio sounds, to put it lightly, to put it bluntly, sounds very unexpectedly feminine, which I don't dislike at all. I like that there are feminine male voices in the world of voice acting. That's fantastic. But to the role of Pinocchio, <laughs> a little weird maybe. 
And it's funny because in the trailer, the Pinocchio is like, Father, I want to go outside. And it's just hilarious. Father, when can I leave to be on my own? I've got the whole world to see. You are. Next meme, it is L plus ratio because on Twitter, everybody's like, L ratio, cotton 4K ratio, L, L ratio, cotton 4K ratio. And uh, now this insane Twitter lingo has evolved into a meme where people are like, L plus ratio plus you fell off plus stinky feet plus your eyeballs are small plus your mom is fat plus your dad buying milk plus uh, whatever. And people are remixing this into some other forms like the Viking form or like a pirate form like L plus uh, marooned plus no wenches plus you have scurvy. <laughs> and shit like that and there's a samurai version like l plus no honor plus seppuku plus no geishas and it's just like this remix so uh, that's kind of funny and speaking of which we have the no bitches meme where it's just the mega mind going no bitches no bitches and um it's several memes being combined mega mind has been memed for like years now no bitches is a phrase that's been uttered for years now and this fish-eyed lens thing and this eyebrow raising thing has been a meme for a while now and it's all those combined and it's kind of funny another um media related meme phenomenon is euphoria because euphoria is coming out uh season two i think it's ended already and I still haven't watched it. I don't plan to because I actually don't really like the series myself. But if you enjoy the series, good for you. But uh, yeah, there are a lot of euphoria memes because people are beginning to realize how ridiculous this series is with all the drugs and, and, and alcohol and sex and glitter. Like, like characters in like, okay, you know what? If I rant about this TV show, I would like spend an entire hour ranting about it i want to make a video essay on this actually but essentially just euphoria is not realistic at all at least according to me because you know uh, my secondary school life in hong kong is so much more different than high school life in america so of course i can't relate to it but um yeah it's just so much drugs and sex and, and glitter and like pregnancy and like flashing lights and penises it's like what what even the fuck is this going on um but uh, people are acknowledging that and it's uh, it's hilarious it, it really is all right top three favorite memes of the month number three we have i show speed versus ben you may have heard about i show speed a little bit in this channel if you have watched my worst songs of 2021 video because he ended up in it turns out he's a 17 year old kid where did that come from he looks like he's 23 but um anyways i show speed is a streamer and he constantly rages and screams and shouts and recently he streamed himself playing a game with a uh, talking Ben or whatever this game is called this really old Apple app you know man so nostalgic like talking Tom and this this like this dog and throwing trash cans and trash at a co-worker it's so freaking nostalgic like it just brings me back like oh man oh man but he kind of revived this game and 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 this dog this Ben dog he doesn't say anything other than, ho, 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 yes, no, and, you know, put down the phone. And I show speed, <laughs> Some only someone like him can still make it entertaining, and it's fucking hilarious. Like, I show speed would be like, oh, do you believe in God? Ho, 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 no, no, Ben, seriously, do you believe in God? Yes. And it's, it's hilarious. It's amazing. It really is amazing. So uh, that's that. And he also did a video with like the, the, the cat talking Tom. And um, it is quite amazing. Not gonna lie. It is quite amazing. Oi, Ben-san. What is the <laughs> All 
right, number two favorite meme here is uh, hilarious. <laughs> this, this, this one, this is amazing. This is a, hi, my name is, oh, Winstead. Oh. <laughs> it's, it's, um, it's basically, um, like this guy snoring and the way he snores, he's like a car engine. Oh, oh. And then this is then overlaid on top of a creepy pasta, a text to speech creepy pasta where it's like a little girl is killed and if you don't save her or anything she's going to haunt you and kill you this Carmen Winstead creepy pasta and this is basically the meme overlaid on top and i love this meme for several reasons first of all it's self aware i mean 10 years ago if you send this creepy pasta around people would be legitimately be scared like some people would be but we all know that this cringe it's dumb, it's immature, and nobody believes in shit anymore in the year 2022. And by showing their awareness, they're slapping this snoring sound on top, and it's hilarious. There's another remix of this, and that is <laughs> Walter White. Hi, my name is Walter Hartwell. Oh, I live in 308 Negro Arroyo. Oh, <laughs> and the visual part of these videos is like 21st century, but even more advanced. It's so nonsensical. It's basically a slideshow of shit ass photos. Just, just what, just some old woman being dunked on by a basketball, some dude whose face is like blown up or something. And it's just, it's so bad. It's so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. All right, my number one favorite meme of the month. I actually tied with the with the previous one. But. Hi, my name is ah! Winstead. I'm 17 oh! years old. I am very similar to you. Did I mention to you that I'm ah! of girls put? Damn, this one's so funny. That is the Fortnite man beatboxing, and I think I've talked about this last month already. Where a guy is like, <laughs> and um that became a bit of a meme but this beatboxing didn't just stop there some woman on tiktok was like oh duet me singing you know haha white girl sunshine kind of or oh, don't call me at all and then the, the black guy duetted the, the girl oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's hilarious and then there is um another woman she's like uh you know duet do you want the ps5 or me and then she sung another song fortnite battle pass and <laughs> again fortnite and five nights at freddy are just two of those games where the memes just don't stop like usually in for video games and movies and tv shows like once you meme enough and it dies out it just dies out like you know, Spider-Man. Nobody makes Spider-Man memes now because it's like, it's been dead for a few weeks already. But Five Nights at Freddy, Cinco Noches, and Con, con Alfredo, it, this meme will never die. There are always new memes about Five Nights at Freddy. The white woman jump scare, the Ma Markiplier memes, the Bite of 87, which is also Markiplier, which is also... um. Part of this meme, the beatboxing of 87. And then there's this video of uh, of Freddy Fazbear just sliding down a helicopter and people are like, the deployment of 87, the drop of 87. And then there's um, um, some, <laughs> there's a uh, Chuck E. Cheese, which I've never been to in my whole life. I've never been to or eaten at a Chuck E. Cheese before, but this, Chuck E. Cheese giant rat was like looking and it was like the rat of 87, the mic of 87. There's a video where it's like Freddy Fazbear chasing after you and it's like the chase of 87. There was a performance where an orchestra is performing this, this song, dun, 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 and it's like the performance of 87. I laughed so hard when I read that comment, but um, it's just like this Fortnite and Five Nights at Freddy just never dies and it's still hilarious as hell so um wow this video have went on so long so uh have you watched this memes i need to leave now bye bye i need to pra